I was talking to a young man, he was, I guess he was 26 at the time or something, somewhere, maybe, I don't know, 28, I think, I think he was 28 years old, and, uh, and so, uh, he, he was asking me some things, I took him to McDonald's one night, uh, we were working the night shift, and so it was about 3 o'clock in the morning, I took him over to McDonald's, and we got a, a soda and a sandwich together, hey man, and so, I, I be, he asked me how my church was, so I began to tell him, hey man, what I felt like the church ought to be, you know, and I felt like what the church could be, uh, and, uh, and sometimes was, you know, uh, hey man, he said, man, I remember something like that, he said, my mama took me uh, to a Pentecostal church one time, uh, he said, I've been to a lot of churches, we went a lot of places, he said, but I'll never forget that night, uh, he said, I was just a little boy, he said, but when we went to that church, he said, I felt something, uh, he he said, I can tell you, I don't know if I knew what it was then. I mean, this 28-year-old man, uh, uh, just kind of, just, uh, you don't hear him say stuff like this all the time. He said, but he said, I knew uh, that that was God. He said, I've never felt anything like it. It wasn't bad. I know it had to be God. He said, I'll never forget that feeling. I'll never Get what it was, and let me tell you, hey man, if you want to go, if you want to be in some place that's like no place you've ever been, right? Hey man, I, I come closing, come get me in song, sweetheart. Hey man, there, uh, there's these folks in the world called adrenaline junkies. Anybody ever seen an, uh, known an adrenaline junkie? Uh, you see videos of them running on the, I, I, I could show you half a dozen in a few minutes if you wanted me to. Uh, I don't like to watch them, but they pop up and it's not too hard to find them. They'll be standing up and walking on the edge, you know, up on, uh, up on 80 story buildings, uh, standing out with nothing but their toes on the building, you know. Ah, uh, they find, uh, do I uh, even some of them riding skateboards and things across the top of buildings right on the edge. Uh, I, I've seen one uh, uh, just here last week. I guess, sir, I don't think it's in this country. I think it's in another one. Uh, uh, I don't remember which one, but there's a big tall tower, and you can go and uh, uh, you can base jump. Anybody know what base jumping is? Uh, you know, you basically you have a, a short range parachute, uh, and so you can jump out and, and, you, and you pull that, you jump off buildings rather than sky, rather than airplanes and things like this. And so they, they'll base jump off these buildings. This place has got a place tailored for you at the very top of the building. They've got a ramp hanging out way out over, and they got videos of them guys uh, standing on their head on the edge and then falling off and. And yeah, doing all kinds of things that, hey amen, holding people and swinging them around, you know, and, and they love it. They think that's great. It gives them a, an adrenaline rush. Hey amen, but if you want an adrenaline, not an adrenaline rush, but if you want a, a, a something, uh, hey amen, that's deeper, that's got more substance, hey amen, that's carrying truth, hey amen, that, that, that has a, a greater high, if you will, uh, than anything that's out there in the world. Try. Jesus you'll never experience anything like it hallelujah hallelujah glory to God amen never experience anything like it in your life I've had a few adrenaline rushes you know short ones I've seen I've seen the stories about them young children that Mom and dad, somebody got trapped under the mower and they grabbed a hold of it and flipped it over with an adrenaline rush. There's power there. And uh, they can do incredible things when you have a higher amount of adrenaline. What a lot of these energy drinks do is they tap in to, that, to your adrenal glands. So you start taking all these things through this energy drink and it causes your heart to beat faster as that adrenaline. It starts bringing some of that and so you feel energetic. You feel like you can do anything. You feel like you can go anywhere. If you want real power, we know where to find it, don't we? It's at the table. It's at the table. It's It's better than any energy drink I've ever had. How about you? Brother John Gabbard, uh, great, uh, as far as I'm concerned, a man of God. Don't agree with everything, but that's the way it is. 
Even we all make mistakes and we all disagree on some things, but a great man of God, uh, over the years he's been one in which when folks wanted prayer, they called Brother John. And a lot of times they'd be healed. He was had a, he was a man of faith. It, it, man, but this, but, but Brother John, I was at a meeting one night where he was preaching. He man down in Arkansas and he said these words, you know, he got excited and he said, oh, I feel God. He said, I feel like God got into my right hand. Now, you can laugh at this. It's all right. A lot of folks did there that night. Uh, he said, I feel like uh, the power of God just got into my right hand. Uh, makes me feel like I could break the top off a mountain and shake the rocks out of it like a salt shaker. He said, amen. Hey, so I feel like I can do anything. Uh, he remember the Joey Hyatt years ago said, uh, I feel like I could charge hell with a water pistol. Uh, he man, he had, uh, there's a boldness there. Uh, amen. Peter got up, uh, amen, uh, in Jerusalem, Acts chapter 2, and preached a message uh, to millions of people, uh, and 4,000 souls got saved. Uh, and the Bible says they prayed for more boldness. Uh, amen. Paul himself, uh, amen, went into, uh, uh, went up to Augustus himself, uh, amen, and witnessed, uh, amen, and that man had to look at him and say, almost you persuaded me. Uh, amen. Paul even talked about being in prison, uh, and he tells us, he won some souls, uh, even in the house of Caesar, uh, one by the name of Eunice, uh, and he prayed for more boldness. Uh, he, he, he prayed that he could go, uh, but God said stay, uh, and so he stayed. What I'm trying to tell you tonight, uh, if you need anything that you need, uh, you can find it at the foot of Jesus tonight. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. As we close.